Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The World After the Fall, episode 13, 14, and 15. Let's get started. Ooh, ooh. Warning, spirit contamination level has exceeded 15%. Please take a recovery pill as soon as possible. Your spirit has been corrupted. You need to know what you need to do. You know what you need to do, right? Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I know. Spirit contamination? What's that? No. Jeez, you really are clueless. Can't believe I partnered up with a guy like this. Spirit contamination is the name of the chronic, chronic disease that everyone is chaos, in chaos suffers from. Your spirit gradually becomes contaminated simply by being here. Once your contamination level reaches its maximum, that's why the horns of the horned beasts are so valuable. All the newcomers have been safely evacuated to the village. You saw how excited that guy got just now, didn't you? That horn is the only item in chaos that can hold off spiritual contamination. Everyone's here needs them. Although, I got one for free thanks to a certain someone. Stay. I'm going to scan you now. Beep. Beep. Unable to measure spirit contamination level. Sir. Could this mean, uh, zero percent? I see. Okay. I finished checking these stones of fallen cells. You can have them back now. So, you don't need them? Stones of fallen souls are not to be given away so easily. Messenger of Nok Myon. I'm not Nok Myon or whoever you keep calling me. I know. The World After the Fall, Episode 13. Sir, uh, are you really going to let him go? James, do you know what stones of fallen souls are? Aren't they items that increase the mana of ad adapted players? That's right, but that's not all. Uh, Sir, your hand! No way, did the magic stone do this to you? Mm. Only people from the Nokmyon family can handle stones of fallen souls. Nokmyon is the only one who can carry the stones around without being contaminated by them. He doesn't look like he's from the Nokmyon family, but it appears that he can handle the stones. But how do you know if you can trust him? I don't trust him. I guess you can say, I believe in his soul. Huh? Do you remember when I tried to measure his spirit contamination level just now? Oh, uh, you mean when the gouge malfunctioned. As far as I know, it is impossible for the gouge to malfunction. What? But then, how? There's only one possible explanation for why the gouge couldn't measure his spiritual impurity. His soul is purer than any other soul in chaos. Uh, how can that be? Anyway, it doesn't matter whether he's actually from Nokmyon or not. He, we just need someone who can handle those stones. We'll let the inner council decide what to do with him. Does this have something to do with our Lord current situation? I'm not exactly sure. By the way, James? Uh, it sounds like you accepted a bribe and let someone in. She said the name, James. Uh, uh, uh. These streets are so confusing. Plus, I have an extra burden to carry. Who's leading a who here? Minnell, make sure you can bring your cer certificate with you next time. In accordance with Article 7, Paragraph 34 of the Gorgon Entry Law, those without a cer certificate, those who refuse to represent a certificate, those with a falsified or modified certificate, those using the certificate of another person, and another similar case are punishable by denial of entry into the town as well as strict disciplinary measures and fines. Ah! And, but I'll forgive you because J1 asked me to go easy on you, and bribes are strictly forbidden. As per par Article 11, Paragraph 6 of the Gorgon Entry Law, those who provide 
bribes, valuables, or another similar items with the intentions of gaining entry into the town, as well as those who accepted such items. She will be okay. Just give her some time. Enough already. Enjoy your stay in Gorgon. I didn't think the legal code skill would last so long, although it felt more like nagging. That guy seems like a real pain in the neck. For real. Hey. I'm looking for a blacksmith who good, who's good with swords. Uh? Is there anyone who's confident they could handle a sword like this? I doubt it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, uh, huh? Hey, when did we get into the town? Are you feeling better now? Then it's time for you to find your own way. What? Wait, how can you just toss me aside like that? Wait, are you still upset that I wasn't going to, I was going to leave you at the entrance of the town? I was just joking. I'm sorry. You have brought me here. You've done enough. You only be a burden to me now. Oh, that's that's a huge burn. Oh. You and I are different. So let's just go our separate ways. <sighs> hey, wait. You don't know anything about this place. Who knows about who knows what kind of trouble you might get yourself into. I can just ask for directions. Ask me. I know this place like the back of my hand. I'm looking for a dream demon. I have an idea of where you might find one. Want me to take you there? Sure. But first, it looks like these guys want something from us. <laughs> we found them. <laughs> so these are the people with a good sword. You said it was glowing and stuff, huh? I never said that. Who are you losers? Get out of, get out of here or you'll be sorry. That red-haired girl sure is feisty. But you'd better watch your mouth, little lady. <sighs> Junior here just hit puberty. He gets worked up if you, you're rude to him. He's 12 this year. Homeboy is 12? <sighs> Besides, it's not good to talk to growing kids like that. Just hand over your sword or Junior will come after you. You need to pay the toll if you want to go this way. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, junior. What? I don't think you realize who you're dealing with. Homeboy is 13? I don't think so. Just give us a sword and no one will get hurt. Oh, how the hell is that guy Junior? Cut the bullshit. Ah, you said a bad word. Time for punishment. Whoa. Boom. Doom. Why do people around here talk so much? Doom, doom. If you want to fight, then hurry up and come at me. How dare you? It hurts. Ah, no one cuts off our precious little Junior's hand. That bastard is going to pay for this. Let's teach him a lesson for the killing our sweet Junior. Boss, Junior's still alive. Our sweet Junior? We'll show these punks what happens when you mess with us. Kaboom. The world after the fall. The world after the fall, episode 14. That was amazing. How did you beat them all by just stabbing them? How powerful are your other skills? Stabbing is the only skill I have. You're kidding, right? Shallow stab, normal stab, and hard stab. Are you serious? Ah, come to think of it, I know someone else who uses only one skill like you. Although, the person uses slashing techniques, not stabbing. Slashing. I guess it's... 
unusual to use only one skill. By the way, why did that attack go off course just now? Huh? Why did you smash the roof of the opposite building? Did you lose control? Uh. Oh, that. While I was fighting those thugs, someone kept using a cloaking skill on the other side of the street. It was bothering me, so I wanted to scare them off. Who destroy a roof just to scare someone? Doesn't everyone? Yunwon would have done the same. Oh, how about I come up with a cool name for your skill? A cool name. Like the Black Flaming Spear or Asura Infinite Spear. What do you think? I don't like fancy names. Then how about the Demon Destroyer or Meteor Spear? Just keep walking. Welcome! Ah, uh, here's the place, the Twilight Smithy. It was established by a dream demon and also the largest blacksmith in Gorgon. Are you here to place an order? Sorry, but it could take a while even if you order today. Nabbit, worker at the Twilight Smithy. Why is that? Do you already have lots of orders? The headsmith is away and only the deputy's blacksmith is here. But he's busy today. He's going to test us workers. If you're looking for something, I suggest you browse the finished products instead of ordering something. A sword made of four horned beast horn? Oh, look at how sharp it is! Now, this sword is made from a four horned, horned beast horn. All it needs is a hole in the handle to insert a gem. Sir, I want to do it. Me too, I want to drill a hole in the horn. This is a four-horned beast horn. It's hard to bre even break it, let alone drill a hole in it. <laughs> Michael Garnett, deputy blacksmith at the Twilight Smithy. All right, I like your confidence. Whoever can drill a hole in this sword will be deputy blacksmith of the Twilight Smithy for today. <gasps> Why is it so hard? <sighs> Step aside, let me try this time. Ah, oh, my hammer! How the heck did they manage to make that sword? Tsst. You guys are so weak. You'll never even make a dent into it. into it. I offered you a chance to have free reign of this whole blacksmith for a day, but you can't even do one simple thing. I wonder when I'll get a chance to try. Huh? St Excuse me, sir? Sir, wait! You can't go in there now. Huh? Let me try. Um, who's he? A young traveling artisan? He probably wants to try because it's the horn of a four-horned beast. I'm not sure which smithy you're from, but there's no way you can do it. If you think it's easy just because my apprentices couldn't do it. Do you want the hole here? It's not that they're no they're no good. I'm just exceptionally skilled blacksmith. The horn of the black horned beasts are extremely difficult to shape. So most people can't. Cling! Cling! So does this mean I'm the deputy blacksmith here for the day? Whoa. Huh? Cra it's cracked. No way! Oh shoot, it broke. Whoops. You! You bastard! That's all you have to say? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Do you know how. Do you have any idea how expensive those horns are? I was trying to be gentle. Uh huh? You call that gentle? I see now, so it's not hard to break the horn completely. It's just hard to break it that. the right way. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. You think an apology will make up for this? Those horns are worth a fortune. You just destroyed a four-horned beast horn, and now you want to run this place for a day? I'll give you something even better to pay for the horn. Something better? How could a bum like you possibly have anything better than one of, one of those horns? Rubbish, rubbish. Here. This one was five horns. This is better, right? Wow! It's a five-horned beast horn. Isn't that from a gar Garnack? Does that cover it? 
I don't have any more of those four-horned beast horns or whatever they're called. It's a real Garnak horn. Uh, of course, this more than makes up for it, sir. Good. So can I use your smithy for a bit? He's calling me sir again. Huh. Close the door, guys. Y yes, sir. Come this way. It looks like everything is okay here, so go ahead and get started without me. I'm just going to stop by somewhere quickly. Close. This is a Twilight Smithy, the greatest smithy in Gorgon. We have the best equipments and personnel around. You're free to use whatever you like since you're the deputy blacksmith for today. Thanks. By the way, where on earth did you find a Garnak horn? I got it myself. You mean you killed a five-horned beast? Yes, one of those monsters ha with five horns. This guy hunts five horned beasts himself. Oh, and I need your help. You almost never come across guys like that in Gorgon, or in all of Chaos for that matter. I need a, I need a sheath, but I'll never made one myself, although I've repaired them before. A sheath? Wait, a sheath? Did you say... You want to make a sheath out of a five-horned beast horn. Uh, what's so great about the sword? Oh, it's a replica of Frostrim Blade. Oh, it was made by a dream demon, so it's rare. Plus, it's pretty to look at. Hmm, <laughs> but still, it seems a bit excessive to use a Garnak horn for that. Why don't you make a new sword with a horn instead? Uh, what the? <laughs> I didn't know it was a spirit weapon. Whoa. Judging from its energy, it seemed to be possessed by the soul of a much higher species. But how did it end up in that, this sword? Huh, this, your sword is evolving. Seeing that it changes shapes, it must be a major evolution. Once that's done, you'll have to rename the sword. Rename it. That's right, spirit weapons lose their original name after a major evolution. On another note, it looks like you'll need to make the sheath out of something else. I'll call you the pig sword if you keep eating things without permission. It's okay, I have another one. How on earth? <laughs> How many does he have? All right, it's a five-horned beast, so it has five horns. What was I thinking? <laughs> How would you like to help? like me to help you. First, I want to watch you work. All right. How do you want me to shape it? I'll let you decide that, since you're the pro. Oh, okay. Th then I'll show you the daybreak craftsman skills. The world after the fall. Gargan Inner Castle. I'm sorry, sir. After he killed those street thugs, I lost track of the target. Hmm. Jurgen Chever, Prime Minister of Gorgon. How on earth did you did he get you? I I'm not sure, sir. When I came to, I was lying on the roof. You mean he saw you? He saw he saw through the advanced cloaking of a third stage adapted player, but that's a master level skill. Then we must be dealing with a great, at least a fifth stage adapted player. Assemble a team and search the whole city if necessary. Yes, sir. Uh, huh? Oh, my lord. Just wait a bit longer. The World After the Fall, episode 15. All right, everyone. That was this week's top 10 with the siren. Unfortunately, that's all for today. Our final video clip is one that you're all familiar with. The hottest video of the little brother at the moment. The one that everyone been talking about. The 99th floor solo clear. Whoa, I wonder what happened to that guy. Yeah, I bet the master would have loved to get their hands on him. What do you mean? What do you mean? Haven't you heard? They stopped cultivating that tower. What? Why? 
I don't know, some demon probably got caught messing with the system. Rumor has it that he abandoned the tower and ran away. I bet that video is fake too. He smashed through the tower and escaped. I guess that makes sense. I mean, how could anyone beat a first generation tower by themselves? But don't most demons have to take out a loan to four towers? I can't believe he smashed it. Is he rich? I wonder if I were if I were him, I would have sold it online. Excuse me. One more pint of single horn of beer, please. Coming right up. <sighs> wow. Check her out. She is pretty. She's a baddie. Hey there, pretty lady. If you don't mind. Get lost. Never mind. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I in such a bad mood? Ah, uh, hey. I need a drink over here. Enough to kill me. Whoa. I mean, seriously? Isn't that ridiculous? That guy is impossible to deal with. He thinks he's some kind of big shot. Ugh. And you know what else he said? Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough. Pub owner Claire. You've not even drunk. Would you stop rambling? So why do you keep hanging around him? You don't even have you don't have any trouble getting attention from guys. Oh, I don't know. It's just whenever I see him, I get so angry. He smashes through everything, swing his sword around as if none of the rules around here matter. And that's enough. Half the time, I don't even know what he's talking about. And he goes around picking fights with people without even knowing anything about chaos. Most people hesitate when you threaten to leave them. You're not human anyway. You and I are different. <sighs> he makes me feel like I'm nothing. You and me and everyone else here was worked so hard to get where we are. And yet this guy shows up out of nowhere. Why are you looking for a dream demon to get revenge? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. He looked at me all condescendingly and said, You and I are different. Whenever I see him, I just, ah, sigh, silly girl. Just stay away from him from now on. But Claire, I, if you stay with him, you might end up dead for real. W what do you mean? You're scaring me. Why would I die? <laughs> Whoa. Letter from Carlson Javier. Inspector of the Northern Checkpoint. Recipient Minnow of the Black Forest Clan. Carlson, what does this stubborn prick want with me? Why am I so nervous? Are you the Witch of Destruction? Huh? Well, that's what some people call me. I don't mind getting rough, but I'm busy, so let's save the fighting for later. Well, I need you to do something for me. <sighs> oh, so you're not allowed in here. Whoa, I don't get it. How on earth am I supposed to mold a beast like this? My God, how can such a world exist? Hey, snap out of it. You were smelting the sword. Did you forget? I, I just... If you're going to help me... Then do it properly. The world after the fall. Alright guys, that is a wrap. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash, slash reading. Cannot English today. Uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!